Hello, hello, ciao a tutti, back again. Today I thought I will talk about my favorite tools. And um, the tools are kind of my fingers and the tools, um, every craftsman has a certain relation to his own tool. And having, finding the right tools and having the right tools and being suggested, having a suggestion which is the best tool, I think is a, is a very important part because, you know, just by scratching with your fingers the wood you won't uh, realize to make a violin. So now my things which I'm, I'm I start let's say to talk about my tools is one of the tools which I bought probably the first time I came to Cremona and I was still um, making instruments like a classical guitar at those time at those uh, years I was like um, 16 17 years old and I came to Cremona and I saw this nice small plane it's called a Kunz K U N Z uh, it immediately attracted my attention it's very cozy because when I bought it, it was perfectly shiny green and uh, there was a, the blade was um, a different color. I don't even remember. It was a long blade and uh, now this one is already a blade which I made myself out of a specific uh, steel. I do a lot of things with this one. Just a rough working of the arching, um, adjusting something, but also uh, adjusting the shooting the fingerboard, um, the fingerboard, the ebony, then I turn over, the, I flip the blade so it becomes like a, a, the, the angle of the plane becomes different. It's just a tool I really, I use very much and people who work here in my shop, uh, they all use it and they take it. They don't know all the story about every tool kind of a little bit jealous about my tools and I have to tell you so this is one tool and then there are a lot of great other planes like the Lee Nielsen which I bought and then from Stanley and all but the relation I have to this one is just different okay so I, I now I don't do everything with this one but this is just my plane you know my plane another tool which I uh, when I go back I have a lot of knives but one knife I bought, even I was still, I think I was 15 years old and I was still living in Austria and I was working on guitars. Now I'm just trying to find like a screwdriver. And this is the knife actually. And it, uh, the handle has changed over the years for many times. Now this one I just bought from Dick. Uh, in Germany um, because it was uh, fast and I adjusted it the handle here uh, a little bit to be closer to the knife and how you can see the, the, the blade is already very short so it just comes in here like this so very soon I won't be able to keep it anymore in my handle probably originally I think it is like 15 centimeter long so it would be this long so this distance I have consumed on sharpening stones and it is slightly round so it is a very uh, handy knife which allows me to work on, a, on the neck. I also make some cuts of it on the back side of the scroll, uh, underneath the scroll um, perfilling for many years I cut even with this one my, the, the feet but now I don't use it anymore because I don't like it that it's concave the cut of the feet I want it to be perfect so now I use a chisel but this one is somehow a, a very precious knife okay and I'm already crying now today while I'm showing you this one the day I can't use it anymore and I have to get a new one, okay? Many knives, but this one is mine, okay? And then certainly, I don't know if you have seen here all these planes. I just show you, maybe you can, with the camera, a camera and you see that you, you look at them. 
and here you have different planes and you know when, when, when you like them so much and these are not even all I have even more you know and if you look at them you see oh my god he is he really makes so many planes which is not true but it happens sometimes that I'm working on the arching Min is working on the arching and then Marco needs also a plane or somebody else so we need some more so sometimes I bought some so in the very beginning I bought two of these planes and these are the ones which I actually love the most okay and um, they're from uh, Lac uh, Morassi but now even Monica which is just next door here um, I will put the link below you can buy it also at her place and then you have to make this wooden cone here and in order that the blade one is with teeth and the other one is just um, um, and a classical slightly round plane. I signed it on the on the back side. I went with a with a metal saw. I made a lot of scratches. So quick, I can see. Oh, this one is the one with the teeth, and the other one without. You know, then when you work like this, then you say, hey, it probably it's nice if there's a screw. So then I bought the other ones. It's the same model. They also have them with a the screw, and the same made the same thing. But you know, they never touched me that much than the first ones, you know? And then I, I heard about the e and you know, your e everybody was talking about e -bags. I bought them, they're getting here rusty, like, you know, dark, not even anymore shiny. Nobody touched them because they have a, somehow a mistake that the blade is small and the backside, it's too large. So it's, it's not very comfortable to use the e I, I don't want to talk bad about now, but at least we don't use the e -bags. They don't, they don't work and because of that when I was once at the China in a, in a music fair so this one I actually I bought them because they're skinny like mine but how you can see they're getting dark because nobody used them I don't know we never actually use them they are kind of inventory to make here violin making output but the ones which are the shiniest of all are these two here and these are the ones which I still love the most and you can see how they are shiny in the front I keep them in four fingers and then I play with them and I just I love them okay and then we have another tool which I think is very important and this is this one here it's just like a, a weapon when I had the to buy a plane all the other ones took the smaller one now I never understood exactly the numbers if it's a five or seven or it was something this one here is a, a number seven at least it was the biggest and I just went immediately for the biggest one and if it would have been for me I would have bought even more than one but then I said hey Edgar cool down take one and take care of it and I really took care of it the only thing I have changed here is the blade this one here I bought and there's written on Samurai it's a Japanese blade which is slightly thicker and you wouldn't believe that this blade while planing is vibrating and so if it's thicker the whole plane is going a little bit more smooth it's a little bit like you know a smart and a e-class or s-class mercedes yeah um, if it's bigger and more stable it's more smooth so with this one i would say 10 hips and i'm done with my joints but when i started violin making it took me hours and hours and lots of centimeters of precious wood to get my joints done what we call that experience okay small detail about this plane this metal here i don't know how you call it this metal is not just metal bam, bam, out of the factory this metal is seasoned just like wood and when you get a fresh and new plane it's still um, warping and getting used to its shape and its tensions and so this one I have now 30, 34, 34 years just the first year when I came to Cremona and uh, you can tell it is well seasoned 
and I'm pretty happy how it is, but it is not perfectly straight. Okay, this is another important detail. Probably you have to kind, kind, kind uh, you have to get in touch with uh, Mr. Lee Nielsen. Um, he he knows about uh, um, planes a lot, and certainly his his big planes cost a fortune. But there's everything under control, and you don't have to wait that the whole thing is settled. Okay. And this is number four, and then, oh, how many do we have here now? One, two, three, four, yeah. This is a tool which I really love, and it is the tool I use to take out the wood when I'm putting in the purfling, okay? Now I just have this one here, but it's, it's fine. I just want to show you, this was an old file. It's, it's the, 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 the end part of a file. Let's say it is a little bit, now this one is a, is a larger one, but it is this part of the file, a smaller file, maybe half of this one. And then I, I adjusted it in a way that I can uh, take out the wood. It is slightly sharpened in the front, so I sharpen it even on my Japanese sharpening stones. And on the back side, it is slightly round, okay? And this is very important because then when you're in the sea, you can turn easy without that it is disturbing and uh, getting blocked inside and is smoothly going. So you can really clean the channel very precise. And then I use this one actually for the whole channel. And then it's not the only one I use. I have another two more. I have a bigger one like this, let's say, for the cello which is a little bit larger, okay? And then I have a smaller one, which is the classical, just a, a nail, and then you put it over the fire, you, you make the tempera yourself and very lousy, this one I don't even sharpen, and, and this one I sh use in the upper part with the, the notches, okay? But all together very nice, but this one is my first one, I made it myself, I created the shape, this particular shape, and it's the one I love the most, and uh, I couldn't make violins without this one. Questions? Leave your comments below if you want to know where you get your tools from. And if you have any suggestions, what kind of video you're interested in, write me. And I'm always checking what you want. Hope to see you soon again. Tell your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.